Hello out there from FixEasy.com. Today we're going to be working on a Google Nexus 7 tablet. This Nexus was sent to us with a cracked touchscreen that you can see right here. Before we get started, let's go over the series of tools that we're going to utilize for this disassemble. The first being this one on my hand, which is a plastic spudger. We will also be using a pair of plastic opening tools. Our triangle shaped opening tools will also come in handy. A small Phillips screwdriver, as well as the use of a heat gun or blow dryer. To begin the process, we'll flip the unit over and recognize the plastic cover here. It is secured by a series of clips all the way around the unit. To begin the process of removing that plastic cover, we'll want to take our plastic opening tool, putting it in the seam and beginning our separation, and continuing all the way around the unit until the cover is removed. Once we have the cover off, we're going to address a few connections, the first being the battery plug to cut the power to the entire unit. We can push that connector out of its socket utilizing a spudger. Our next connection is the LCD ribbon cable that we can gently pry up out of its socket. Our last connection is a pair of locking sockets for the front touchscreen digitizer. Be sure to release these locks before we remove this connection. Now we will begin the process of removing our display assembly from the frame of the Nexus. We will use our small Phillips screwdriver to remove the 16 screws all the way around the frame of the unit. With the last screw removed, you should be able to separate the display assembly from the frame. With the display assembly removed, you will need to recognize the plastic trim that surrounds the front touchscreen. Our next process is going to be the removal of this trim from the front touchscreen. This is not an easy process. We advise taking your time so that you do not break the plastic trim ring. There is adhesive that is all the way around this trim that is attached to the front touchscreen digitizer and LCD combo. We'll need to use our heat gun or blow dryer to begin the process of softening up this adhesive so that we can separate that trim ring from the LCD touchscreen combo. You will need to utilize a combination of the heat gun the plastic opening tool as well as the triangle opening tools and a lot of patience to make this separation happen. Do not rush this process and take your time. Start with separating on one side and begin to work your way down that entire side breaking the adhesive as you go and then continue around the entire trim. Once you actually have the separation of the trim and the touchscreen LCD combo, 
If your screen was cracked, you might have some shards of glass stuck in the existing adhesive. You will want to remove these glass pieces as well as any residue that might make it difficult for your replacement part to adhere to the trim ring. Before installing our replacement part, we're going to need to transplant the LCD ribbon cable from the existing part to your new replacement LCD. To do this, we want to release the ribbon cable out of its locking socket on the back of the old unit and then follow the same sequence in reverse onto the new replacement part so that it's prepped for reassembly. All of the replacement parts and tools that you've seen in this video today are available at www.fixeasy.com.